Welcome to Church Media Production, I'm Andrew, and today we're going to go over how to take your ProPresenter lower thirds and put it into Wirecast or OBS, depending on what you're using, and we're going to use NDI to do this. So let's get started. So inside of ProPresenter 7, the first thing you want to do is make sure, check for updates, make sure you got the most recent version. After that, you're going to want to come over to Screens. Go to configure screens. You're going to want to hit the little plus here next to audience. And then you're gonna to wanna to pick the type of screen that you want to do. So you can do a new NDI or you can do whatever other type. So we're gonna go ahead and do new NDI and then whatever resolution you want your output to be. So we're gonna go ahead and select 1080p, 30 frames a second, wherever that's at, 29.97. And then you can name your screen up here at the top. So we will just call this Wirecast. Then you have your output. So we are gonna do MacBook NDI4. Name will be MacBook NDI4. We'll just call this Pro Presentor. And then Wirecast. And then your output type will be whatever type you want it to be. So this will be the type. So if you want to do a custom, so depending on what you want your scaling to be and everything, we'll just leave it at full. Your color you can leave fine. Your corner pins you can go ahead and leave fine. And then alpha key we're gonna turn on. If you do not turn on alpha key, then your screen will end up just being black, which depending on what you're displaying this over, it might be okay. But if since we want it over video, we're gonna to have to turn the alpha key on. So once you have that set up, you can go ahead and exit out of that. And then we're gonna to wanna to go back into screens. We're gonna to wanna to do edit looks. And then in here is where you will see what's going on which screen. So we're in the default. So we're in the default here, as you can see. This is just what we use for everything right now. You can make different presets depending on if it's like this, a laptop that you could take from place to place. So each room you could have a different setup. But because we have one, we're just gonna leave one. So over here on Wirecast, we, because we just want this to be the lower thirds for the words, we're gonna go ahead and undo video input, media, and then that will be pretty much it. So that will only show the slides, which would be the words that we put on there, not the backgrounds themselves. Under presentation, we're gonna wanna, this is where you would set your template. So here is where we will, so we have our preset here. So what we're gonna go do is go to edit because we want to make a new one now because we don't currently have one that's set up for the lower thirds. So we have, this is basically our display one, display two, and then we're gonna duplicate this one. And then this will be our screen three. So what we're gonna wanna do though is go ahead and if we highlight all of this, we can click this button here, this will drop them the words down to the bottom of the screen by default. And then if we want to, because this is gonna be on the bottom of the video, we'll go ahead and drop the size down a little bit. Cause as you can see, it kind of got cut off there a little bit already. And then the entire side of the screen, we go ahead and bring it in just a little bit. That way, depending on what people are watching on, it makes it all a little bit easier. And then up here at the top, if you click this little guy here, that will center it for you. And then the other one's left, right, top, bottom, justified, depending on what you wanna do. So that one's like bottom, that one's top, center. So we'll just leave it at center because since we dropped the text down by default. All right, and then once you're done with that, go ahead and get back out of here. So we can go back to show. And then if we go back into scenes, edit looks, we can go back over here to presentation, click that, click on our theme, and then we'll click that bottom one as our theme. And then we'll say save, save as. Actually, we'll just call this live, say okay. And then when we click on live, we say make live. That'll make this one the live back, the live default that we're using. Exit out of that. Then when you click on this, so, here, let me go into an actual song real quick. 
so that way it doesn't keep switching words. So if you see here on our preview, we have the words in the center. If we go to Wirecast, the words are down here in the bottom and they will update automatically as you go through everything. So we'll go back to main screen. So then what we'll do, so, if, so now that we're in Wirecast, you can see we have nothing on the screen right now. We go ahead and put up our little account down here so that we can see what's kind of going on. We'll, on, we'll get one of the layers, we'll hit new, and then we're going to go in here to MacBook Pro. So the NDI that we did was NDI 4. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. And then as soon as we hit go live, you can see the words are there at the bottom now. So then we can say next, 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 next. Go back over to Wirecast and you can see it updated. And then that's all you really need to do to get that working or to get the NDI lower thirds working for ProPresenter to Wirecast. The NDI from ProPresenter itself should be basically the same whether you're using OBS or any other software. You just have to add it as a new source, make sure you select the correct one, and then you're good to go. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to give it a like. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below on any questions you might have or anything that you might need help with that maybe doesn't pertain to this. And we'll see you next time.